Hey folks, David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com. You're here for another episode of Common Sense Market Analysis. Today is Friday, August 8th, 2014, SPY chart, daily variety. So today should come as no surprise. We got the bounce, right? We got a uh, oversold condition bounce. Uh, if you watched the video from yesterday, uh, I said, you know, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to stretch the rubber band too far, it's going to break, or, you know, you're going to snap back. And today we saw the snap back. There was just no reason right now where it had to break and uh, come all the way down here to this 200 moving average or in this area here at 187. So we bounced. And what will happen from here, let me give myself some room. So what will happen is uh, you're going to either make a uh what we call a bear flag pattern right this is that sideways uh consolidation so call it a bear flag pattern and it kind of looks like this okay i'll i'll draw it in all right here's your down move okay and then if you get a sideways move like this okay that's considered a bear flag pattern and uh then the next move would be down this way uh however now, let's get rid of this line. However, if you there's other patterns that this this could take shape. So what could happen is you can continue up, okay. And if you continue up, you'll probably uh, at least stall out over here at about 195 and a half at this high. Actually, it would be uh, 195.78 would be the top end here. Uh, but if you did that, if you shot up here over like two or three days, and then you went sideways, you could be uh, setting up for another move to challenge the highs, right? So that would be an A, B, C pattern. You've heard me say that before, right? We go A up, B pull back sideways, and then C, okay? Or you can go sharp up and sharp down, or you can go sideways, okay? I mean, there's other things you can do, obviously, but those are the primary things that are going to happen from this point forward. So what's next week? Options expiration is next week, which means you're going to have both things going on. A lot of whipsaw going on next week. You'll have a lot of rumors going on about all kinds of stuff, just like you had today with Russia and uh, and Obama's uh, uh, speech last night about Iraq and what we're doing there with the humanitarian effort and uh, and some of the other strikes. So all those things, they, they kind of gave credit to the Iraq thing early in the day when the market was up. And then they uh, and then they switched over to uh, Russia when the market was up more, saying Russia was going to pull back, and that's why the market was up. Well, how many times is Russia going to pull back? They've pulled back at least half a dozen times as far as the market's concerned. They're not pulling back anywhere. They're there for a reason. So that was the excuse today, and that's fine. It's an oversold bounce, and whatever they want to pin the reason on is fine with us. We just watch the charts, and they tell us what to do. So... Um, so next week you'll have uh, a lot of back and forth action. So you may get that sideways bear flag pattern. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll see what Monday brings. You may have uh, a retrace Monday. Maybe you give back about uh, a third to half of today's gain on Monday. And then uh, we'll see what happens. We'll take it one day at a time. But that's what we had. It should come as no surprise. We were due for a bounce. I said it was going to happen in this area. And guess what? It happened in this area. So uh, let's move on and let's switch over to the, uh, the gold chart. This is GLD. And uh, daily chart of GLD is still hanging in. I think we're, there we go. Today was kind of another pause day, just like this one down here. Um, so we'll see. We're just not ready yet. Like I, I keep saying, time and price, when they converge, It'll be the time to play gold and it'll be the time to play gold miners, which speaking of which gold miners actually looks even better. So tonight, I think what we'll do is we'll take the time to look at the weekly chart again and um, check out this inverse head and shoulders pattern. So let me draw the line, the famous line in real quick. Uh, should be getting good at this by now, don't you think? So that's not really the line. Let's see if we can move it at all. Oh, I drew in another one. I hate when that happens. I can't talk in type and I can't draw lines in type or talk. What is it? Anyway, that's close enough. You get the point. So the point is that we're staying above this neckline of the inverse head and shoulders line. So as long as that stays put, right, and, and we come, you know, a little more sideways over here, this is setting up, and I, I swear there's there's 10 bucks in this thing, 
and maybe not from here, but from down here there was ten bucks. So, uh, you know, eight to ten dollars in this thing is is a, is going to be a good move. I think we need another week or so, and uh, and then we'll start with the trade alerts for the members. Um, VIX, the VIX today was down uh, as expected, but you know what? It wasn't uh, it wasn't really down that much. Uh, earlier in the day it was, but uh, it really didn't finish down that much. So that's interesting. So this could be making a uh, bull flag pattern, right? The opposite of a bear flag pattern. If this makes a bull flag pattern and does this, okay, this is setting up to go higher. So we're going to watch that too. So that's going to coincide. It's going to mirror image the spider chart of the SPY. Um, how about oil? Oh, I always do that with oil. Oil is, uh, as I've been saying, it's sick. This is actually has the makings of a uh, bear flag pattern right here, right? So if we come sideways for another uh, two, three, four days, somewhere up in this area, um, setting up to go lower, maybe it comes down to my uh, target here of Pierce of maybe 35, and then we can look to get long oil at that point, depending on how it comes in there. So if we go sideways to slightly higher for the next three or four days, uh, I think we come down here, maybe slightly even lower at this point. I'm not sure. It depends on how this pattern plays out and for how long it plays out. So time and price, uh, when they converge again and the pattern presents itself, we may even take it on the short side. We'll see how it shapes up. So uh, I'll keep the members in the loop on that one if, uh, if a trade alert is going to go out. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Anything tonight? Um, there's a new long trade issued yesterday for members uh, that was up uh, today. Uh, probably not as much as I'd like, but it was up nonetheless, which is a good sign. And um, yeah, one more thing. So we had this uh, FedEx trade. And what happened was yesterday, okay, down here, all right, yesterday, down here. Uh, no, it was two days ago. Down here, I issued a cover half your position alert at 145.25, okay, 145.25. Now, I want to bring this up for a particular point because this is interesting and it's typical. So what you're seeing here is the reason that number came out is if I look at this low, which is a gap window, right, this big gap from here to the next day here, this gap up, the the market likes to come and test and then ultimately fill these gaps okay so what happened is this gap window first they test them then they fill them so what happens is the low here was 14509 so we don't always come right into the low so I wanted to make sure we got filled so I put a trade alert it was actually predetermined I put the target the first target on this trade for the members when I issued it like two weeks earlier at 145.25 and lo and behold we came and where did we what was the low yesterday 145.08 we pierced this low by one penny and then bounced up the next day and then today we had a, an up day and what we did was we covered half the position and now we have either some members have a break even stop and some have a stop in the money okay so we have a guaranteed winner and if we get stopped out in the second half, it's still a guaranteed winner. And if the market turns down, let's say this just goes sideways and then turns down. If it turns down, we still have the second half of the position and we ride it down to another target. And that's the way we play it. So it was interesting. It kind of played out picture perfect. And, uh, and then we bounced up. So we're, uh, we're like $3 off of the low where I issued the, the, uh, the cover half your position. So that's why we do it. So that worked out perfectly. Anyway, folks, have a great weekend. It was a good trading week for the members. Uh, I'm David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com. Thanks for tuning in.